What is going on all you ghouls and ghoulettes out there? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Welcome back here to the channel. For those of you who are new joining us for the first time, my name is Scarecrow Flow and I welcome you to the channel. Here we got some medieval, or medieval, however you say it, uh, the classic PlayStation 1 game that has had an amazing remake. I am super duper excited for this one. Of course, I didn't beat it back in the day because, um, you know, my young gaming noob self was uh, too noobish for the likes of this. The game was challenging and I hear this one is challenging as well, which I'm actually really really excited for. Uh, I've known that they've kept like a lot of the standard elements that were in the PS1 classic into this one as well, which is awesome. So, you know, I'm super duper looking forward to that. Um, we'll probably do it by like chapters or something, depending like on how long they are, one to two every episode. I'm gonna try and keep it around like 25, 30 minutes per episode just for the let's play uh, portion of it. So yeah, without further ado, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon. That way we can get this channel growing. Plus you don't miss out on any of that juicy, juicy content coming here to the channel. Of course, hit that like button as well. It really helps me out and lets me know you guys are enjoying what's going up here on the channel. But without further ado guys, let's dive right on in. <laughs> Spoopy. Such a beautiful smile. Dan's Crypt. Rise and shine, Dan. Looks like you've got a second chance at this whole hero thing. Try not to blow it this time, eh? It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? Fortescue. The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we know's better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Sweet. Man, I'm excited for this. Uh, so a little bit of context in the backstory of it kind of is Sir Daniel here. Um, is pretty much like a proclaimed hero even though he isn't so he's kind of like a like a false hero in a sense i mean he will be a hero now through this journey but the like overlord zok or whatever he's risen the dead and sir daniel is one of those ones who come has come back to life and basically um is on his redemption journey now because he fell into the first you know like he was saying he basically was the first one to get killed in that battle and he is proclaimed a hero which he wasn't so <laughs> You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. All right. I think it's really funny too because uh, IGN actually gave this game a 6.5 because they said it was too hard and didn't meet 2019 standards with checkpoints and things like that. Like, come on, IGN. That's... That's ridiculous. You're going to dock the game for being too challenging and not meeting 2019 standards. The classic PS1 game didn't have checkpoints. The classic PlayStation 1 game was hard. 
It's like this is a Any stay true find remake. Added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Them damn gargoyles. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Gotcha. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Got us a life bottle. Alright. Got some daggers. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. So it's a charge weapon. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, I was like, oh no, I threw my arm. <laughs> All right, so we got the rune star. What do we got here? Copper shield. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your Book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Cool. And we got our sword now. Got that to toggle between weapons. Okay, so we got melee, ranged, armor, and some items. That's cool, it just makes it super simple. Hiya! We are out of here. Track down Zero by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Magic slime. So this is what I meant by like uh, chapter things or whatever, like these little sections, depending on like how long or how, you know, short they are will depend on, you know, how many we end up doing um, throughout. So of course, just getting through the crypt isn't an episode worthy. So we'll go ahead and head into the graveyard. But I mean, let me know too, what are you guys doing for Halloween? It's coming up soon, got any plans? What are you dressing up as? Let me know. Oh, look at that hand right there. How do I use my shield? Okay, there we go. Looks like our shield has life to it too. Oh! Gotcha. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. 
Back up. Gonna need to figure out how to use my life potions. Let's get rid of these guys first. Got some goldie over there. That small light following you around is. I was just wondering what that was. <laughs> the heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks, but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Okay, that's pretty cool. I was gonna say, it's a little, you know, there's no lock on or anything like that, so to be able to do the range thing, or having someone to help you out with that is uh, pretty nice. What is this? Oh, look at that. Got another life bag. Alright, so we're gonna need some runes. From the looks of it. What do you need? Earth room. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Of rejuvenation. We've already got that. Let's go find the Earth Rune. Oh, it's right there. Went right past it. Bang. What's up? He won it. He won it. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> So we got the other one here. There's that gold. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. All these hidden secrets. You got anything over here? Nope, nothing in that one. Whoa! Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Nothing remains hidden. And she's watching you when you're doing bad things. It seems like we have to keep killing things to, to keep that going. There we go. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it and you will be worthy of visiting the Sacred Hall of Heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Cool. Not all enemies have souls. Killing most of the ones that do will fill the chalice, allowing you to collect it. Cool. 
Oh boy. Ain't won it. Alright, so it's at 96% now. Can just drop down here. Yeah, that's good. Will it take us back around though? Let's see. There we go, the chalice is full. Whoa. What do we got here? Oh, it's those greedy damn gargoyles. Ah, whatever, let's see what we got. Let's stock up on throwing knives. Eating all my damn money. Rosa waits. What do you got here? The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. The stained glass demon. I forgot to mention too in my last video, I do want to do some stuff on the uh, the Outer Worlds because that just came out as well. So I'll probably do some um, some live streams of that as well. I'm looking forward to that one. It seems really fun. It's what Fallout 4 should have been. <laughs> oh, okay, he's just coming out of the coming out of the water, hitting me. Rude. What do we got? Get us a copper shield. Does that mean we still have our. Hmm. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> So can we... Okay, so we can't do that. Is that shallow enough for us to go through? Okay, cool. I was like, uh... What is this? Oh, gargoyle. Softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. <gasps> the master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Purest the evil. Would be wise to make themselves scarce. Damn, he's just talking smack. The Hall of Heroes. All the mightiest heroes are celebrated here. They aren't so they aren't so interested in being your friend just yet. Slay a Zorak or blah 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 blah. Cool. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity. Feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. Ooh, got some if arm wrestling going on? Worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. I'm always terrified of arm wrestling, I'm not gonna lie, just because I've seen those videos where they you know they break their arms and everything. Oof. I've broken both of my arms and watching that is not a pleasant sight. <laughs> To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. 
That's cool. Spiritual guidance. So I'm guessing like as we go along. Is that us? Look at that. There we go. So I don't have the thing for that yet. The big hammer. Better sword. This looks like we just have the one chalice. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Kenny Tim. Does the battle go Kenny Tim? <laughs> <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I beat the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Sweet. Got us a little crossbow now. Oh, and there's upstairs too, but it doesn't look like we can head up there just yet. Yep. Oh, I fell right there. Ooh, there's a big bow up there, some better swords and equipment and stuff. Sweet. So we definitely gotta make sure we go around and get Only those chalices. Truly worthy as a hero, will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall? When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't like we get to the door yet. So I'm guessing before each area we go the Hall of Heroes. Where are we headed to next? Cemetery Hill. So it kind of looks like we're gonna have to go through here to beat the stained glass knight and then back uh, because there's the door that's here in the graveyard. Yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and just wrap this one up here. A little bit of a shorter one, but I mean, that's, like I said, that's how I kind of want to keep it. It's just, you know, within the 25, 30 minute range. I mean, we're now we're a little bit under 25, but that's okay. Um, just because I don't want to get into some areas and them end up being longer and the videos end up being longer. So that's why. So that's why we'll conquer at least one to two every time, depending on the length. But um, yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm loving the visuals, loving everything um, about it. The people who are doing the remake on this let me see their ocean i believe is what it is um fantastic job so far you guys are killing it can't wait to keep continuing on keep getting them chalices keep getting their new weapons and see sir daniel's quest but of course guys until that next time stay spooky <laughs>